Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. Are you ready to throw the book at innocent Tevat residents? Well, you finally can now because Yanfei is here. Let's quickly go through her kit since she is finally released and we can take a good detailed look at everything she has to offer. Starting off with her passives, Yanfei adds 5% pyro damage for each seal that she consumes. Yanfei's second passive adds another instance of 80% pyro damage if her charge attack crits on an enemy. Her exploration passive is the same as Chi Chi's, allowing her to detect resources unique to Li Yue on the map. Next, let's take a look at her talents. All of my Yanfei's talents are at 666. Her basic attack has these multipliers at talent level 6. For her skill, it has a 9 second cooldown which is fairly long and grants maximum seals. Her burst costs 80 energy. It does similar amounts of damage to her skill and her charge attack. But most importantly, it adds 44% bonus damage to her charged attacks. It also grants a seal every second. Given its extremely high AD energy cost, I highly recommend a teammate like Bennett to provide lots of pyro energy particles to her. Going through her constellations, constellation 1 looks to be a really good constellation, improving both her consistency and sustainability. This drops her charge attack stamina consumption with 3 seals from 27.5 stamina to 12.5 stamina, which is a pretty massive buff for her. Yanfei's constellation 2 is a nice damage increase if you're hitting an enemy with less than 50% HP. Yanfei's fourth constellation looks like a nice quality of life upgrade that allows her to face tank some stuff when she uses her burst. And Finally, Yanfei's 6th constellation is the big one, both increasing her charge attack damage by 11.5% and reducing her charge attack stamina cost to 0 with 4 seals. As you've seen, right now my Yanfei is at level 90, constellation 0, and she is also using a level 90 3 star weapon, the Emerald Orb at Refinement 5. Her artifacts are also pretty good. One of the first questions I wanted to answer is if she can vape her charge attacks consistently, or at least vape most of her damage with Xingqiu as her teammate. It appears that with the help of his sword's rotating hydro application, she is able to somewhat consistently vape her damage. My Xingqiu is constellation 6 though, which helps a bit every third wave of swords. But even for the first couple of waves, you can see that Yanfei is able to vape most of her damage. I do think eventually Yanfei players will be able to perform her vape more consistently than I can with some time and practice, but it's worth noting that it's not always this consistent, and running a pure pyro damage build will likely be more consistent for her damage output. Next, let's take a look at how she does in Abyss 12 with my current setup. Here is the team I'm using. Bennett is running an HP-focused Noblesse support build with the Festering Desire. Xingqiu has a Favonia sword for the energy regen, and he also has a lot of energy regeneration. And Zhongli just has a pure HP support build purely for his shield. 12-1's biggest challenge of staying alive is completely nullified with Zhongli. With support from Bennett and Xingqiu, and with Zhongli's shield, Yanfei is able to comfortably handle the situation. Notice how her charge attack is consistently stun locking and pushing the Geofish apps backward. Now admittingly, it was hard for me to consistently vape initially against these Geofish apps, but quite a few of her attacks do still end up vaping. And as I play more with Yanfei, which you'll be able to see in 12.3 later, I was able to vape much more consistently. Another point I need to mention is that at Constellation 0, she does run out of stamina pretty quickly, and it becomes extremely important to manage her stamina properly. I can see Constellation 1 on Yanfei being incredibly valuable. Nonetheless, with some support and some occasional vapes, Yanfei is still able to handle Abyss 12-1 with a 3-star weapon, even while holding back near the end to fill up her team's energy for 12-2. In 
12-2, you'll see that Yanfei did quite well here. After grouping the mages up, similar to the Geo Vishaps, she very quickly pushes both the mages far away from her with her charge attacks, making it a bit difficult to stay in Bennett's circle and still hit both of them. Also worth noting is that I use Bennett's burst after Xing Chu's burst because Bennett's burst has the shortest duration compared to both Xing Chu's burst and Yanfei's burst. Remarkably, Yanfei and Xingqiu destroyed the Sassin Mage's Electro Shield in no time at all. This does make me curious as to her shield breaking potential. Anyway, onward to 12 3. After retrying this a few times, I was starting to vape with her more consistently. I'm not sure if this is the proper string to use with Xing Chu, but it seemed to be working for me. Also, her rotations do line up well with Xing Chu and Bennett, in my opinion, since both her burst and Xing Chu's abilities have long cooldowns. During these cooldowns, Bennett can keep providing Yanfei with pyro energy particles, and thus allowing their bursts to sync up. Again, Zhongli was hugely helpful, but Yanfei definitely pulled her weight here. So far Yanfei is looking to be a very promising character. With constellations and more talent levels, I can see Yanfei being an extremely powerful pyro DPS in the right team compositions and in the right hands. What do you think of Yanfei's performance with the 3-star Emerald Orb? What do you think of Yanfei so far? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.